Hey everybody, Wes Luther here with Secure Acres Natural Bees. Uh, it's a beautiful day out today and we have quite a video planned for you. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between the horizontal hive and the, land, and the Langstroth hive. And these are just differences based off what we've experienced with the two and we think you'll find it very interesting. So if you enjoy the video, give us a like, consider subscribing, and here we go. Okay, so here we have two different types of hives. We have the horizontal hive, and this particular type of horizontal hive is called a Lands hive, and uh, this one is 14 frames long. Um, and then of course we have the uh, Langstroth hive, or at least pretty much the components that we would see with most hives, uh, you know, with a deep, uh, maybe two, two mediums, a uh, honey feeder, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So the big key differences I want to talk about, and you know, I've used this hive, the Langstroth hive, for about six years, and then this is our first year using the Lands hive. Um, and I just want to first point out like the big difference we have with, you know, working with these two hives. So with the horizontal hive, I want to explain, you know, what we've learned um, in terms of, you know, how easy it really is to work with the horizontal hive um, and the the key difference, you know, with the Langstroth. And let me set you down for just a second. So we would take off the top like we would do in any other case. And then if we look down to the hive, as you can see, we have access to the hive, pretty much the entire hive, right while we just open the top. So, you know, this is a lot different than with a Langstroth hive, where if I'm going through the Langstroth hive, I'm having to take off my feeder, uh, these two mediums, and this, uh, and going through the bottom tier as well. So, Anybody knows that if they're working with a Langstroth hive, it's just a, a mountain of work. And really, when you get done through with one hive, um, you're pretty exhausted. I mean, it can be a good amount of heavy lifting. With a lands hive or with a horizontal hive, because we don't expand the hive vertically, we actually expand it horizontally. And what we'll do is when we catch, um, we'll put, we'll, We'll install them with seven uh, lands frames, and this is a lands frame. And the lands frame is about 30% bigger than the Langstroth frame. Um, and if you have this whole uh, hive full of frames, that's probably the, it's about the equivalent of two full deeps for the Langstroth hive. Um, and like I said, when it comes to doing any kind of work with your bees, you're not having to lift. A bunch of supers um, the most you're having to lift is just a single frame at a time and I'm telling you what your back is really gonna forgive you for it um, it's just it saves a lot of work um, and I could tell you there was a lot of times when I was dealing with my Langstroth hives back in the day and the work was just it got to the point where I wasn't having that much fun anymore because it was a good a bit of work and you know, most beekeepers use the Langstroth for hives, and they will say that beekeeping can be very strenuous. Um, with the horizontal hive, you know, you're not expanding, um, you know, to vertically. You're just going horizontally. Um, and when we winter this hive, we'll winter them on about 10 of these lands frames, and the rest of it will keep separated by a divider board. I don't have it in here right now, but we'll use a divider board and basically put a bunch of straw or hay in the empty space and uh yeah it's it's pretty simple but we've come to really enjoy the lands hive um and it's you know it's a wonderful um you t it's it, it's just very uh efficient for what it does um uh, other big differences with this hive as you can see the walls are actually twice as thick um, than the Langstroth hive. This uses two by lumber. Um, and with these walls, we have better insulation against the summer heat and better insulation against the winter cold. So uh, there's a lot more survivability um, with this hive. Another difference is, is, as you can notice, the frame for the Lands hive is a lot longer than the frame for the Langstroth hive. And because of this, this gives more bees, that gives them more room to move in the winter when the winter cluster is moving up, up 
uh, uh, they've just got a lot more room to work with. And as you can see on the bottom of the lands hive, we have these uh, smaller entrances that are, you know, uh, not so big, but basically they're smaller on the lands hive. And what what makes it easier for the bees is these because these entrances are a little bit smaller. It's a lot easier for them to defend in a case of robbing. Um, we have had uh, a few robbing scenarios uh, this season, and the bees were able to survive, and they it didn't wipe out the colony or anything like that um, because the entrances were too big and they could defend them. Um, so uh, the other good thing we have with this hive is ventilation. Um, we've got we put a hole in the bottom and put some screening over that, so uh, they can get some air through the hive. Because as you all know, um, the biggest thing that can hurt your bees in the winter time is that moisture getting built up in the hive. And another part of the ventilation, of course, is the holes that we put in the top cover. Uh, and we put these four holes on each side. Um, and uh, it just allows air to get through the hive and so we won't have to worry about them getting wet. I like to say bees are kind of like little computers because if they do get wet, it kind of ruins them. So, you know, and I, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm dissing the Langstroth Hive. I'm, I'm really not. Um, I understand it's had its purpose, but uh, really we can't help but feel that this type of hive is really more useful for a commercial beekeeper and, you know, someone wanting to kind of do an independent style beekeeping. Um, you know, this working with the Lands Hive, I mean, you'll just find it's a lot easier to work with. You know, these hives aren't meant for putting on a bunch of trucks and towing all over the country. Uh, the Langstroth Hive is, so, um, you know, it, if you don't have to move your hives everywhere, you know, why not go with something that's, you know, going to give your bees more survivability and also something that's going to, you know, be more efficient for you. So we hope you found that educational. Um, you know, we'd love, to, we'd love to answer any of your questions. If you do have questions for us, you know, just post them in, in the bottom and uh, we'll definitely talk about it and get it covered if you need us to. Um, but, you know, check it out. Check out the Lance Hive. The Lance Hive is not very well known in the U.S. right now. It's more used in Asia and Europe. Um, but it's, uh, it's a great system. And if you check it out, uh, you might be uh, surprised by how easier it can make your life. So I challenge you to look at it and uh, we'll see you soon.